we are on to share screen and I think this is a really cool one. It blew my mind when I found out that you could share your entire screen, not just your browser window, but you can you can share everything. I could not believe that that was <laughs> that was possible. We are back at the docs and I'm very happy to say it's going to be a lot of the exact same stuff that we've already seen. Media devices, we have used that. Scroll down to their example, wherever it is. Media devices belongs to the navigator just like get user media, except we're calling get display media. And it, it says here that this prompts the user to select and grant permission to capture the contents of a display or a portion thereof. So you can pick what you want to actually grab and it comes in as a media stream. Again, this is a big win. Media stream is what we've been working with. Those consist of media stream tracks. If we go back here, that resulting stream, just as a refresher, come back over to scripts. That's a stream right there, right? Get user media, it's just gonna be get display media. That stream can be recorded with the media stream recording API, which we just talked about, right? This thing right here, which I called media recorder API. If you need a refresher, just go back to the previous video, but it can be recorded or it can be transmitted as part of a WebRTC session. Screen recording software is very expensive. It's complicated and costly to actually be able to edit it effectively and so on. But you can record your screen with WebRTC. You can set up something in a matter of a few minutes and record your screen, which is, yeah, just mind blowing. We are also going to make this later where you can pass it through the WebRTC section once we, once we get to that. Okay, you can follow this uh, for details and an example, which is a lot more content specifically on the screen capture API. We're not going to be able to go into all of this, and it's just fantastic reading to be able to give you more, uh, more insight. Get display media can be called without any arguments, or we can pass options, and we will look at those quick. And I'm happy to say they work pretty much the same way as constraints do in get user media, except there's a few more. So we'll look at these quickly here. Video means do you want to do you want to include video? It defaults to true, so you don't have to provide it. That's what will happen if you don't send anything over. The the catch though, which is very strange, I think, is that get uh, get media display requires a video track. So if this is set to false, the promise will reject with a type error. So I'm I'm not sure under what circumstances you as the developer would ever want to do this because you would be creating an error for yourself that you would have to catch. But uh, we will always set that to true uh, for every every occasion I can think of. Audio is not required. It defaults to false. And if you hand it true, then it will include an audio track if audio is supported and available. So controller, we're going to hop past. You can, you can follow this if you want to look at it. The rest of these are all pretty cool but they are, there's not a, a clear enough spec yet, so browser compatibility will vary. If you choose prefer current tab, that will tell the browser that I want to use the current tab for my screen capture if I choose browser. We will look at this. Self-browser surface, uh, this, uh, this tries to avoid the infinite hall of mirrors, so like if you hold a mirror up to another mirror, that's bad because they just reflect each other, so if we are showing a display that's showing a display that's showing a display we want to avoid that but this is out there you can do include or exclude it may be necessary at time to include surface switching this is uh, really important in my opinion it is a convenience option if you want to switch your display so you're showing one tab you want to show a different one or you're showing the whole window and you want to show just this particular program or whatever if you, if you do include, this will make it uh, so that you can do that without having to turn it off and turn it back on. And then system audio determines whether or not to include the system audio. Okay, let's hop over and give it a try. It's get display media with options. So in our share screen function here, we are going to do const, we'll call it media stream, because we already have a stream variable, is going to equal await. I skipped over that part here, but if we go down to the return value, it is a promise that resolves to a media stream. Exactly the same as get user media. So we're going to call get display media. This is going to need to be async because we've got a wait here. Media stream is potentially going to need to be used elsewhere in our program. So let's get rid of const. Let's go back over to scripts and right below our stream. Let's do let media stream equals null. We'll say init stream var for, actually we'll do init media stream var 
for our screen share. And you probably already saw this, but for some reason, I, I copied, I guess, the, the docs there, but we have to go to navigator.media devices. Uh, this isn't a, a function that would be available. So I'm not sure what I was doing there, but anyway, we got that cleared up. For our options, this can be a local variable, so we'll do const options. We will do video true, which is redundant because it's, it has to be true or it's going to fail. We'll do audio false, which is also redundant because it's already false by default. I am going to add surface switching and set that to true uh, just so that you can see what it looks like. We'll try it both ways. We have to put a try catch around this because we're using a wait and this returns a promise. Back over here quick at the top, actually it's at the bottom, I believe. The return value is a promise that resolves to the media stream. Well, just like get user media, if, if this promise uh, comes back with reject, with await, the only way to handle that is with a catch. So we'll just console.log error, and that should be enough to see what happens. Let's refresh. We don't ha even have to share the, the mic and the camera because it's a totally different stream. And I made a mistake. Uh, surface switching here does not use a value of true or false. So Booleans are not valid. It is include or exclude. So I'll put that note in here. Include slash exclude not true or false. So let's give that another try. Share screen. And awesome. I Again, I can't believe that this is possible with uh, what? What do we have here? About 10 lines of code. And, and really, it's more like a, it's really just one line of code. But Chrome is giving us a choice of what tab we want to show, and they are live because if I go over to entire screen, I have another monitor open. Uh, if I come over here, I'll click on, it uh, looks like my socket IO class is second here, I'll click on that. You can watch the screen change. So this is, this is Chrome in action. <laughs> this isn't us <laughs> or JavaScript. We're not doing that great here. But again, incredible. I am going to choose uh, the screen capture API, so that other tab. I click share. And it hops over to that because we want to avoid that Hall of Mirrors thing. And it says sharing this, uh, this tab to file, that's this window over here because this isn't running in a, in a browser. It's not HTTP. It's not a domain or anything like that. So that's what that means. If you choose View tab, it will hop us back over to that, uh, that tab. Otherwise, we can stop sharing and it goes away. Come back, share screen again, pick another one, share. I just did the mind blow thing next to my <laughs> next to my head. That's all we need to do for now. We're going to do uh, later on a project where we do a little whiteboard sharing and we will get into some more of of this some more of the sharing as a as a fun challenge. Something that you could do would be to record the screen. Again, we will do that later, but if you want just a little bit of practice, you could right set the SRC of a particular video track equal to it's essentially just going to be implementing this code right here, media recorder dot start on the stream. But instead of this stream, it would be, you know what? We're here. <laughs> Let's just do it. Grab the media stream, refresh, I'm going to share the screen. We'll pick this one. I'm going to come back over and hit start recording. Need to fix our alert here. So we'll, we'll do if no media stream. And I'm going to undo this for the. Uh, but just so you can see it quick, we'll do share screen, choose this one, come back over, click on start recording. We have started. Uh, nothing's happening. Uh, we're scrolling up and down now, so this is pretty cool. Stop recording and play recording. And there you go. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's absolutely incredible. Maybe I think it's so great because I've done a lot of video editing and so on. But that for now... I'm going to undo this quick to get it back to just our standard stream, but I will put a note here. You could use media stream, and I'll put that note down here as well. You could use media stream to record so that you'll have that for reference, but that right there covers pretty much everything that, that we need to do for now. Again, we'll, we'll look at it a little bit later on. This is a fun one to play around with. I will see you in the next video.